Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the stream. <laughs> hey, Thomas is here. Good morning. We have Benny, we have uh, Jen, we have Who Even Plays. <laughs> hello. We have Kalarai here, we have Roronari, Daniela, uh, but yep, at university, so just lurking. <laughs> and Thomas is now here. Hello, guys. Thank you very much for joining. So today we're going to be playing a game called The Signifier, which should be, uh, well, a first-person tech noir mystery adventure. <laughs> that should be some investigation with uh, psychology and AI mixed in. I really haven't seen the game. Of course, it only released recently, and we're going to try most probably playing it fully, because as far as I know, it should be between four to six hours. So it might be just this day, and we should be able to finish the game, if we're lucky. <laughs> Thomas, I'll have fun with the signifier, gotta go. Of course, have a nice day, Thomas. Have a nice day. So, uh, what else did I want to say? Thanks to Raw Fury as the publisher <laughs> for providing a, a review key for the, for the game. And the developers are the Play Me Studio that you can see the logo right there on the screen. And uh, one heads up, uh, the game has no audio settings, so I wanted to kind of tune down the sounds. I hope they won't be too annoying, but if it will be too loud, let me know and I will uh, pull it down in OBS, because really the game has no audio options. I'm gonna fire up the game. Boom, I'm gonna leave it right there. Switch the scene. All right, so there is a photo sensitivity warning. So I guess there might be flickering lights through the game. So there are two reasons uh, that I might not finish the game today. One is that the game will be buggy and will be crashing. Second one is that uh, due to all the flickering, I might get a headache, but that happened only with Observer. If any of you played Observer, you might remember that that game had a lot of flickering. I mean, it was the one and single game that I ever really got a headache out of. I don't have uh, normally issues with photosensitivity stuff, but Observer was full of it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope this game will not be the same. Okay, there is literally no sound in here. And, yep, bum, 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 bum. Mm. And... If you go here, you can see that uh, there is just no more settings. This is it. <laughs> okay, so... Everybody ready? For the beginning, so that you will know what, what's happening from the very start. I hope you are. Do, do, do. We're gonna go for a new game. You see that this is the save, uh, this is the testing save, but are you sure you want to save in this slot? It would erase any previous data game. Game data, right? <clears throat> All right, yes. Chapter one. This is not a pipe. AI research, the influence of social media and brain scanning technology have led to three important developments. The creation of the TSB, Technology Safeguard Bureau, uh, whose mission is to maintain democratic structures safe from the abuse of technology, complex international brain scanning regulations that protect private data, and the undeniable tension between the world's biggest economies in the wake of new AI breakthroughs. Under this context, the Dreamwalker project, which performs academic research on the human mind, through AI-assisted brain scanning technology has been under scrutiny. You had to make a collaborative deal with the new TSB to keep your research alive. So we are a scientist. Please sign right here. Let and me take a picture it. of you with the box. A picture? Why? It's part of the protocol. Oh. Okay. I don't need to remind you how sensitive the material is. I know. Thanks. Good. Take care. Oh. 
All right, so objectives, investigate the box and we can have a look around. There might be a little bit of motion blur, but there was no setting for it, right? Yep. Well, no setting for it. We're going to look at the box, but first I'm going to look around. Game looks quite pretty. I hope the stream is performing well. No issues there. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Good. The Ogmios, and I can show subtitles, so this is how the interaction works. Will there be a lot of reading? Hmm. Final verdict from Supreme, Supreme Court on Hallmark case of former President Kofre. This week, the Supreme Court denied the appeal over terrorism charges of the group self-dubbed the Highwaymen who were convicted over a string of fake videos and audios impersonating several officials up to and including former President Kofre. This group was apprehended by the, by the action of the now-famous NSA-CIA-FBI Joint Task Force. Soon after their arrest, Congress passed the Information Technologies Bureau Act, creating the TSB of which the Joint Task Force became its core group. Following group's creation, Congress also passed a law penalizing the creation, storage and distribution of video and audio deepfakes without express permission uh, from the falsified subject and the strengthened penalties of for impersonating federal or state officials. Interesting. Okay, just a second, guys. There we go. Good. The idea was an office lab hybrid. Reality, a cold, insufficiently funded lab. <clears throat> All right, so... There are multi-clicks on some items. Happy Tuesday, Arrow. Welcome, welcome. This is not a pipe. This is not a pipe. But the painting of a pipe. Yep. Magritte's famous painting. Hmm. All right. Magritte. Yeah. <laughs> this cave is nicely furnished. Do, 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 Batman. Okay, what is this? Another large, large document. This is a lot of reading, but considering that this is the beginning of the game, and maybe this will give us context to what's about to happen. So, okay, I'm going to read this one, but I'm not really inclined to read a book. We're going to be playing a game, right? The Mirror Stage. The Mirror Stage was one of the first concepts which Lacan worked on. At the beginning of, this, of his teaching, in his essay, The Mirror Stage as a Formator of the Function of the Ego, uh, as it is revealed to us in the psychoanalytic experience, he based himself on the work of Henry Wallen on the pregnancy of the image of the other's body for some species, but also for the human baby. In relation to the image pregnancy, we have the notable example of pigeons, whose development of the reproductive system would be intimately linked to the vision of their congeners. Not a word I know. Isolated pigeons do not develop their gonads. Ooh, likewise, in the case of the human baby, the importance of the mirror as well as the body and the words of others is vital. Much of the image we have of ourselves depends on the other. The self would be a function that comes from the other. The experience of the child who still does not have a complete proprioception of his body due to the maturation of his nervous apparatus who does not have a unitary idea of it does not recognize himself in the mirror until he is more or less eight months old before that his own image is to himself another being in the mirror experience a unitary image of himself is returned to him in advance which as such is still misleading since it is inverted thanks to the words of another who will confirm that that's you the child will come to be recognized in his image however if we reflect on this scene of recognition, there is even filmic documentation of the moment when, with glee and also with strangeness and amazement, the child recognizes himself for the first time in the mirror. It is still interesting to capture that, before the child is able to articulate a word, the first thing that is placed is a you and not an I that captures the child in the image. The root of the self is always external and to a certain extent and it never ceases to be 
it suffices to remember the feeling of strangeness before an unusual angle of our image in a photograph, or, in the extreme, the experience of an anorexic who does not stop seeing in the mirror a strange element in his body that must be removed. In the same way, the words and gestures of others, especially our family, that are directed to us determine our conception of ourselves, what we call the ego function. The parents speak of the child and also speak to him. They gesticulate towards him. All of the sediments, certain images, encourages certain aspects and dismisses others. As such, there is a dialogue that is established in an imminent, 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 imminent way and that does not need to be explicitly said um, for it to be there. We must remember that this is that what is not said is as important as what is actually said. The main idea that Lacan transmitted in this sense and that made him generalize the stage of the mirror as something that always works beyond a certain stage in the child's development is that the function of the ego is something that is always being built in relation with others and takes as criteria the desirability of the social sphere which is situated as the ideal images in a certain specific social and political context. Neurotic conditions are, in this sense, related to the mirror function that fulfills the social context and especially the family. Neurotic conditions arise from the complex problematic relationship that humans have with the desire of others. The fundamental question would be, what does the other want from me? Or what am I to the other? J.P. Bustamante, The Function of the Self in Psychoanalysis. Jesus. All right, that was... That was something else. Okay. Good deal. Just gonna have a quick run around. There's been a lot of shutdowns lately, and this building's electrical grid is just as old. So I got a backup. Okay, that's a backup. We have some kind of equipment here. The brain disc should be in the box. Okay, we have a brain I've disc in the box. I've got nothing to put in there. I need to upload the digital brain first. It should be in the box. Hmm, in the box. I need to start over again. The hardware is already enough for on-the-fly reconstructions. Okay, let's begin then. We're going to open the box. Tom. Russell, did you receive it? It just arrived. Good. Listen, priority is to find the real cause of death. Early reports indicate suicide, a drug overdose, but I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. She was too important and the timing was odd. She was a lawyer at GoAT, right? More like the vice president. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now you see how deeply in trouble you'd be if anything leaks out. You're putting me in a tough spot here, Tom. Not if you're careful, Russell. Just make sure nothing leaks out. Why not wait for the full autopsy? Why do you need me? We need to move faster, and if there's something bigger going on, we need to investigate it. This is a one-time chance to catch them. GoAT has been dodging us for way too long. So you want me to spy on them through her memories? No, I just want you to find out how she died, which is legal. But if I'm right, it will take us some I know there's something off. We just need to find out what. All right. Tele three sub by dead I'll can dance can. one. Good. Alert alert Remember, no dwarf game detected. Reported. Well, we don't know anything yet. We will, Russell. <laughs> I've been in this for too long to know it's not just suicide. You'll see. So, I've given you access to her apartment on Stratford Avenue. They're about to wrap it up over there. But Detective Stan Becker's waiting for you. He knows you're coming. If you want to investigate the real place, you should head out there now. All right. I'll check it out. Okay then. I'll leave you to it. Don't keep Stan waiting, and keep me posted on anything you find. Sure. See ya. Alright, so, I really didn't want to interrupt that, but we got a shot. <laughs> Alert, no dwarf game detected. <laughs> Thank you very much for the resub, Chris. Six months, where did half a year go? Thank you so much for the support, and I got really startled by that shot again. Uh, man, this looks promising. It seems to be quite voiced, which is nice. Of course, most of the other documents that we have seen until now are just readables. But the one that I finished reading just before this happened was overly long. I don't think I will really go through all of those. And it was an article on psychoanalysis. So it's kind of difficult <laughs> if you are not really into that stuff. Okay, what do we have here? So this is the case. Case info. Case report confidential. Name... Joanna Cast, age 39, 
Married, no children, vice president at GoAT. Personal info. Joanna was the vice president's vice president and go at go at and one of the younger top executives in the technology industry known to be efficient smart ruthless and determined she has been credited as go at's uh, highest valued asset in the last five years with a strong understanding of management laws markets and technology she won the inno award in 2013 being the first woman in the world to receive it case information high profile executive found dead in apartment apparent drug overdose antidepressives Husband found her dead on August the 29th, 3.15 p.m., called immediately at her own apartment located at Jules Stranford blah 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 Valley Tower, floor 42. Online life. Facebook last post is from 2014. Twitter last post is from 2016 about a conference she gave. Personal email joannacast01t.com. Corporate email joanna at goat. <laughs> yeah, goat. Goat.com. Apparently mail has been deleted. Apparently, due to corporate restrictions, Joanna didn't have an active online social life. Police department, last known picture taken by Lara Paz, apparently her best friend, two days before her death. All right, and... Daniela, uh, I don't know why I keep getting K-pop emotes. I'm seriously not a fan of K-pop in the first place. I don't know, is there any emote gifting spree again? <laughs> Based on your likes and browser history? Oh my. <laughs> okay, and what's the last one? Digital brain disk. Digital brain disk scan report. Well, we're not looking into that apparently. And this is the digital brain. Hello? Okay, I think he's... Yeah, he's gonna take this one. Brain disk acquired. Meet, meet Stan at Joanna's apartment. What's up here? We're gonna look around here. My little project has come a long way. I just need a few more years of independence. I need to keep the TSB away. Soon, on the fly memory reconstruction. Soon, on the fly memory reconstruction. Okay, once you see the skip dialogue uh, option up there, it's everything that you could have heard. But you need to click multiple times to get all the, all the dialogue or all the, the commentary. I can't believe the loss of performance after adapting them to comply with the new laws. Times are changing indeed. My server's set up. Not so fast anymore, but still solid as a rock. My server set up. Not so fast anymore, but okay. still solid as a rock. <laughs> Not here, apparently. This is the first thing I brought in here. This is the first thing I brought in here. All right, and we have a back room here. <sighs> I really need a new partner. Hard to replace Carl, though. Carl? <sighs> really oh, we all partner. miss Carl, don't we? Hard to replace Carl, though. Is this something else? <sighs> no. I really need a new partner. Okay, Carl. always check the toilets. <laughs> Carl liked to read this nonsense. I never figured out how such a great scientist was able to pour so much time in reading clickbait articles. Clickbait? <laughs> he once said he could draw global connections through them. Monsters in the sky, gene editing proteins in chemtrails. Oh, Christ. All right, I'm being sued by my baby. Rumors of lawsuits on babies from... Born from DNA enhanced parents, CRISPR enhanced people have copyrighted genes added to their DNA. <laughs> all right, all right, that that's just too much nonsense for one day. And Coel, hello, good morning. You visited the doctor, no work today. Well, congratulations. You can relax now, take some rest, take care of you. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, should I plug the disc in? I've got nothing to put in there. But we've got something to put in there. This'll take a while. I should visit her apartment while the memory gets ready. Ah, all right, so that's how they did it. 
I was just thinking like do I need to go to the apartment first and then just put the the disk in but okay it will be processing data which means that we will need to go and investigate okay ooh oh <laughs> there's a map Joanna's apartment time to go copyright DNA could only happen in 2020 I don't know what the year is did we see a year anywhere I didn't notice a year damn it <laughs> I, sh hey, I probably should right. 20 2016 was mentioned feel free to take a look around but don't touch anything let me know if you have any questions all right hey there buddy yeah theories ah all right I just to move with the keys who found her who found her didn't you get the report it was her husband well I wanted to hear it from you buddy do you know anything else about him his name is Alex Pretty average guy, fitness trainer. The victim had kicked him out a few months ago. They were about to get a divorce. He came by to pick up some stuff he'd left here. Could he have been angry about the divorce? Yeah, but as I said, she'd been dead for at least six hours before he got here. So if somehow he forced her to take an overdose over the phone, then yeah, he could have done it. Interesting. What time did he find her? The morning after, and called right away. The security cameras corroborate the time of your...